everybody. Today we're going to be working on our math packet on pages 257 and 258. You're looking for the page with the orange and purple figures. The top says compose solid figures. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the two pages. You can either um, complete the pages with me as I go or watch the whole video and then complete it on your own afterwards. It's up to you. Let's get started. For numbers one and two, circle the combinations that have the same shape. So for number one, we see a rectangular prism and a cube, and we're looking for the three figures that are making the same type of shape. So you're kind of looking for a shape that looks like an L, okay? There's three figures there that look like an L type of shape. Go ahead and circle the three that you see. For number two, you see some cubes and rectangular prisms, and you're looking for the three figures that have a square shape. So go ahead and circle the three that you see there. For number three and four, you're circling each kind of figure used in the picture. So I will do number three with you and then number four, I'm going to let you do on your own. I see a cylinder with a cone stacked on top. Now in the green box, you see a cube, a cylinder, and a cone. So you're going to circle the two figures that are used to make the picture. We said that there's a cylinder on the bottom, so you would go ahead and circle that. And then there's a cone stacked on top, so you would circle that. But I do not see a cube in this picture, so you will just leave the cube how it is. And you're going to do the same thing for number four. So go ahead and look at the, the picture, and then circle the two figures that are used to create that picture, okay? When you're ready, flip the page over, and you're looking um, up on the top, we're seeing more purple and orange figures, and then we see in the middle some balls, some cubes, and on the bottom there's birds and fish. So once you're there, we'll get started. Number one and two on the back, circle the picture of the stacked figures. So if you look at number one, right underneath number one, there's two different figures. I see a cube and a cone. Now to the right side, there's three different um, pictures and they're all showing stacked figures, but you need to find the one that shows a cube and a cone. So I will walk you through number one and then number two, you're going to complete it on your own. So we have a cube and a cone stacked on top. We have a rectangular prism and a cone stacked on top. And then we have a cube and a cylinder. Um, you're going to circle the picture that shows the cube and the cone, all right? For number two, you're going to do the same thing. You're looking for the picture that shows a rectangular prism and a cube, and it shows them stacked. So go ahead and circle the one picture that shows the cube and the rectangular prism stacked. For number three and four on that back page, the directions say to put an X on the object that does not belong, and then name the set. So I will do number three with you, number four you'll complete on your own. So I see a baseball, a beach ball, a round tomato, and then a can of paint. So there's three pictures there that belong together and one that does not. So we have a baseball, a beach ball, a tomato, and a can of paint. Hmm. Well, I know that a ball shape is called a sphere, and I see three pictures that look like they're spheres. So I know that they belong together, but that can of paint, it is a cylinder, and it does not belong in that set, so you're going to cross that out. And then we're going to name the set. The set is what the pictures are, and they are spheres. So you can either write spheres or you can write balls, but spheres is the correct um, term. And then you're gonna look at number four, I'm going to let you complete that one on your own and then name the set, okay? So you're gonna look at the pictures and name them. And then on the bottom, it's just a review. Um, the directions say circle the fraction that names the blue part of the set. It's been a long time since we've done fractions, but um, what you're looking at is, we're looking at the blue part of the set. Now, remember, when you're doing fractions, the total number goes on the bottom. So if we look at the birds, let's count them together. We have one, two, three, four. So there's four total birds and that number four is going to go on the bottom of your fraction. And then we're looking for how many bluebirds there are. And I see one, two, three bluebirds. So the number three would go on the top. You're going to circle the fraction that says three fourths, three over four. And then you're doing the same thing for number six, okay? All right, guys, let me know if you have any questions. Bye.